it's a very hard show, once again, to pick out because I'm basing my opinions on the fact that everyone's in shape or in their best shape. And, and we know that that's just not the case. Palumbo here for rxmuscle.com. We are here with an Arnold Classic 2024 preview. I'm minutes away from leaving for the airport. Uh, it's Thursday. I'll be getting in around 5 p.m. just in time for the Meet the Athletes and doing some great interviews over there with our whole team RX Muscle. For now, though, I got to give you my official, I got to go on the record, so to speak, so that I know that whether I'm wrong or right, I can say Dave said this or Dave said that. The truth is, this is a very hard uh, show to handicap because of the fact that Hottie Chopin and Samson Dowda, who undoubtedly will be the top two here, unless something goes drastically wrong, uh, are, are that close, essentially. I mean, Hottie Chopin is a former Mr. Olympia. He was second at the Olympia this year. Samson was third at the Olympia. Samson's also the reigning and defending Arnold Classic champion. A lot of people feel that he is the future of bodybuilding. Will this be his time to seize that title? And if he beats Hottie Chopin here, this would give him tremendous momentum going into the Mr. Olympia contest later this season. So this is a great little preview. It, it, it actually makes the show super exciting because this is the number two and three guy. Obviously, the number one guy, Derek Lunsford, is not in the show. I'm sure he'll be in attendance watching you know, seeing what these guys look like and seeing the improvements that they made. Except Derek's got the advantage that he's taken the whole year off, essentially, to make improvements to his physique, and he won't have to showcase it all the way until, you know, the fall of this year. But we're going to see Hadi Chopin in his first Arnold Classic USA, and we're going to see Samson Dowda obviously come here to try to knock him off. The question is, who wins? And this is a hard one to decide. I'll tell you why. Because Hadi Chopin definitely has the advantage with the terms of muscle maturity, in terms of conditioning, in terms of polish, Samson Dowda has the wow factor. And wow factor always, always outshines everything else, assuming all other variables are equal. So if Samson Dowda can bring the conditioning level that he needs, and it doesn't have to be as good as Hottie because he'll never look as sharp as Hottie. Hottie just has a gift of being able to get crazy shredded. But if Samson can look the way we know we need to see him, which means glutes, tight, lower back, you know, striated and shrink wrapped around that waist. This is a show that I believe personally that Samson Dowd determines his own fate. I think he can beat Hottie Chopin if he brings his best. If he doesn't, I think Hottie will easily win this show. And having said that, what do I think? And, and, and I don't know because I haven't seen these guys, you know, in their bathroom posing, you know, we've only seen the, the small little trickets or trickles of pictures that have come out. But to be honest with you, I'm going to go on a, out on a limb, and I'm going to say that Samson Dowd is going to bring his best to the stage, and he's going to win this Arnold Classic in a tremendous upset. I also believe that Hadi Chopin will bring his best to the stage. So I think we're going to see the best on these two guys, which is something that, you know, a lot of times we, we all want to believe that we're going to see the best, but we don't, because I think Hadi has something to prove after his loss at the Olympia. He's going to bring a shredded look to that stage like we've never seen before. But I think Samson's going to bring his best as well, and I think Samson's still making improvements. Whereas Hadi probably is is pretty much not you know getting any bigger at this point nor, not not that he needs to, but I think that we're going to see an improvement from Samson and that's going to push him over the edge. So I'm going to go with Samson first, Hadi second. Now, once again, that could flip flop, but I have to go on the record with something. That's my prediction. Third place is is a little bit harder because we have a, a group of guys that that are right there: Rafa Brandeo, uh, Antoine Valiant. John De La Rosa and uh, Horse MD, which is uh, Marcelo DeAngelis. Now, there are other great guys in this lineup. And I, I really think uh, James Hollingshead, uh, Akeem Williams, Bo Shaban. This is a very deep lineup in that fighting for that third through fifth place position. And it's going to be tough. But you know what? I really am really, really high on 
Antoine Valiant. I, you know, I really love his physique. I love his posing, his presentation. He really impressed me last year with that second place to Ian Valier up in Canada. I, I think he might surprise everyone. I think he could be the dark horse that we talk about in this show that no one's really predicting. I, I, I'm going to put him in that third position. Controversially, of course, and I'm sure a lot of people might not agree with that, but I'm going to say that I think he can do it. Uh, I think he can pull it off. If he brings ultra conditioning, which I think he has now, I think we're going to see a, a big upset uh, over a lot of these guys. Now, Rafa Brandeo really is the guy who, you know, you have to, you know, kind of put into that third position because he's really, you know, established himself over the last several years as, as a guy who's very difficult to beat because of his balance to his physique. I know he's made improvements. He's working with Neil Hill now. And I, I know we're going to see a better Rafa. So, I think that that third position was going to be fought over between those two guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if Rafa gets it. But I'm going to put Rafa in, in fourth place here just because I'm going out on a limb with the dark horse for third in uh, Antoine Valiant. I think that uh, Horse MD and, and John De La Rosa will battle for that fifth position. And if De La Rosa brings the conditioning that he needs to bring, I think he'll take that fifth spot. And he might even take a fourth spot. Uh, if Marcella DeAngelis, you know, has more wow than John, because John's not as sharp, I think he's going to take that fifth position. Horse MD is a little vulnerable from the back on the back double bicep, although he's got a great back lat spread. He's a little shallow in the, in the back, and I think John really takes him out on that shot. But once again, if John doesn't bring the conditioning that he needs to, I know, I know Horse MD is going to be in shape. It's going to be a tough battle. So once again, and, and James Hollingshead will be probably the most conditioned guy in the whole show with probably maybe the most muscle. So if it comes, if some of these guys that I mentioned prior are going to be off a little bit, maybe they didn't bring the condition they need. Hollingshead could be as high as third here. So it's it's a very hard show once again to pick out because I'm basing my opinions on the fact that everyone's in shape or in their best shape, and and we know that that's just not the case. But it's fun to do this little uh, exercise anyway, and I put it out there. So we go with Samson first, Hottie second, Antoine third. Rafa fourth, and I'm going to go with uh, Della Rosa fifth. Since I said that John would finish in the top five this for the last several weeks, I'm going to go with that as my, my top five pick for the Arnold Classic 2024. I'll be out in Columbus, Ohio with Sid Faruqi and the entire RX Muscle crew. Make sure you watch all the updates all weekend long on the RX Muscle YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button and turn on your notifications. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update.